back everybody cheeto here how's it going i hope you're all doing fantastic i want to welcome you all to another episode on the kingdom of war survival multiplayer server yes you are how's it going i'm giving you like a minute to respond even though i know you probably won't i don't know it's a it's a kind of an off day right now we're back oh and if you don't recognize this location um, we are at the skeleton farm and as you can see this usually wasn't a giant hole like it is right now it's because I've just offhandedly decided we need to spruce up this old skeleton farm now before it used to be a fall damage skeleton arm and I have actually upgraded it to a uh, suffocation damage. I think those are better. They should be. Um, I'm pretty sure armor doesn't protect you against suffocation damage. Although I mean I have a little bit of inconsistency when it comes to uh, skeletons and their HP. I'm not quite sure. Uh, if you do know, why don't you leave a comment down below and let me know? Because I'm too lazy to Google it. I've been, I've been just up a little too late trying to fix this. You know, you get lost in what you're doing sometimes. So let me go ahead and like finish up this. There's not that much to do. Oh, I hate gravel so much. It's like there's so much freaking extra gravel. Specifically this season, because of all the amplified terrain. You know, let's uh, get to the old meat and taters of this situation. I mean, this will just take a second. This gravel's gonna take forever to get out of here. Let's head on down to the old skeleton farm. Take the old plunge. Come on. There we go. And as you can see, we've already upgraded the exterior of the skeleton farm. Um, I think I need a little extra iron for iron bars, which luckily I found some. Cool, we can actually go ahead and smelt that up. It's looking pretty neat. I don't exactly know what I'm going for, um, but it's certainly looking neat. Um, my idea now is actually going in and replacing all this with uh, nether brick. Which, uh, nether brick's an interesting block. But, maybe we'll just see how it looks. Um, definitely gonna be hard to get our hands on that. But, like everything in the Kingdom of Wars, you can't do anything without having a giant hole. So... My plan right now is to not make it so you come down this way. Let's actually put that back just in case. And just make it so you come down like maybe on top of this. Can I get up there? Not sure. So we're still working on the roof, but I think it'll be fine once we get... Um, it'll look just interesting anyway if it's a giant hole in the ground. So anyway... Um, same design as the previous, um, skeletons drop down here, and then it crushes them down to at least one heart, maybe a little more if they have armor. And just punch, there you go. And it pr works pretty well, and it's actually very fast, as you can see I already have 40 levels, and this guy has armor, I don't know why he's taking extra hits, but, you know. Power? No. no this is, I'm breaking three. Meh. If we go back and behind, we did something different though. Um, redstone's always set up a little different. But up here, the whole point is that skeletons shouldn't take any damage from falling. That way you can always get consistent uh, damage with the crusher. For some reason, skeletons will come up here. They'll bounce along, and then they'll just bounce one last time. And even though it's a three-block fall, they'll still take half-heart fall damage. 
right here. And it kind of sucks. So my idea, we raise the roof up half a block so the skeleton can bounce happily along. And then like we lowered this block a half a block. So when they jump, they fall down a little bit and then they can't go as high as they were because of this trap door. These are the ideas you think up at like three in the morning. So I think it actually works very well, and it's probably something I'm going to be going to be using in future seasons of the Kingdom of Ores. Ha ha! So that's my plan for this episode. Why don't we head over to spawn and actually give you a couple of updates on what's going on over there? So here we are back at where we presume you will be coming into spawn. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be planning for all types of entrances. And I think this hasn't changed too much. Um, we now have a mega smeltery in this facility for the time being. Uh, Digital Region was so kind as to donate some of his millions of double chests of cobblestone. Um, now we have millions of double chests of smooth stone. Um, this chest is just filling up, or actually just getting emptied. So, yeah, we still have some ways to go. Not too much, though. Very surprising. Um, all this is uh, lava powered, so. He's mining out some, like, giant section under spawn. And uh, was graciously donating the lava, so thank you. Um little sleeping area over here. I think I've actually done that. Um, the only things I've changed were um, planning through here. So there used to be a big drop like right about here. I've covered that up, gave a little uh, patio area right here. Hello skeleton in that creeper hole. He's, he's hiding. I uh, gave a little room right here. And then I thought I would move into this cave system. I'm not quite sure. This is, it's all it's all still planning. Uh, I think we need to really I need to get with Spy and really talk about um, where we want things to be and what would be the best place to put them. And oh, and around here, I really like this. We've incorporated this little nice like waterfall that kind of went under the mountain. Into this nice little entrance here, back down to the base of spawn. Alrighty, we are back, and we have finished clearing out this room. Looks pretty weird, actually. That's okay. You probably won't see all of it from up here, but you will get like a hint of it. Um, not sure how I want to do this now. I'm having like ideas in my head, and then I'm having like ideas as I talk, and both of them sound so amazing. But, at the end of the day, we got to choose one. So, um, this is the center of the room as a whole. Okay, and the staircase is basically the nice point where it comes at, um, where the entrance is in the mountain. It's like just nicely nestled into this little crack right here. And I think that's really cool. Um, another thing I want to fix is the path up here kind of a steep path from here and I think I'd, I'm just gonna want to flatten it out a little bit so it's easier to get here but let's focus on this thing for right now I want to expand this out now what I think I want to do is we're gonna have a curving staircase it's gonna go down and to the right and let's see I'm gonna come out maybe in the middle of this room so, we need to move the staircase from here, negative 83.18, to about here, 89.18. So that shouldn't take too long. Now the difficulty is we probably will fall to our death and uh, lose 36 levels. But you know what? Cheetos patented, old Cheetos patented skeleton farm will come to save the day. So we're going to widen this out into a three wide staircase. We'll gradually just kind of destroy a path 
down here, you know? It's really just gotta wreck it. Okay. I knew it, but that's okay. We didn't die. There we go. Yeah, let's see. Now, this is going to be easily walkable, hopefully, through slabs and stairs. As long as it's nice and spacious enough. Okay. So let's get rid of some of these stairs, or just block it off so we don't have to look at it anymore. And let's see, how will we come in from here? A nice foyer would be nice, but this is a mountainside like catacomb thing, so I'm not quite sure how um, formal we should be about it. Alright, let me work a little bit on um, trying to curve this staircase. And uh, I think I'll be right back. Let's see. Alrighty, when in doubt, grab yourself some cobblestone slabs and stairs. You know, one thing I really wish they would add into the game is uh, stone brick columns. Something that's like. Something that's decorative that's gray, you know? But anyway, so whenever you're planning something like this, it's always nice to grab yourself plenty of stairs and stuff so you can really like plan out these curves. You don't want to use like stone brick and find out that, whoops, it's not that great. And of course, the darker it is in this cave, the better it will look because of Minecraft. I don't actually know. Science. Darker things just look nicer in this game. Block this off a little bit. Now we're already a bit steep, like not steep enough actually right here. Um, shut up cave. Boop, boop. And that could be because we could start like maybe further back here with the staircase. This is building lessons with uh, TLC Doe. So let's start the staircase like back here. Oh, we got a little lag, I think. You know, as yes, I just thought if the staircase comes out a little further into the room, it wouldn't be that bad either just don't want it to be the centerpiece of the room. The room itself needs to be important. So, oh, screw all this gravel. Oh, that was so close. It's just gonna have to stay there for the moment. I think I could survive the fall. It'll just, oh crap. It'll just give me a bit of a heart attack. There we go. Now we gotta do a bit of staring, or put in some stairs so that we can get some steepness back into our build. So it's like a nice, you gotta learn to balance it out. Uh, a, if you have room for like a slab slope, then you're all welcome to do so, but I mean, you do use up twice as much room as you would if you just use stairs. So compactness versus uh, practicalness I mean you're you're a little matched here so it's whatever whatever use fits in the most and I'm gonna match this with spawn we're gonna try to keep it a natural cave look with some infrastructure built in I think it'll be very nice looking okay um, change of plans just to see how it would be um, just because I don't, I don't know. People aren't going to spend that much time here, so I want to make it as meaningful to come here as it possibly can. So you're probably just going to come here um, 
park your butt in a minecart and just AFK for an hour for at least um, you'll build up this farm pretty fast so I'd say you probably get to level 30 in at least 10 20 minutes so you're gonna park your butt here and you're just gonna sit here and really you're it's not gonna be much to you're not gonna pay attention to just an ugly staircase so I want you to really come down here and say oh my god I can't wait to park my butt here and just not stare at it for 10 minutes oh minecraft you're so weird you would just encourage people to take advantage of your systems screw you gravel so now we're going to take the staircase down a little this way and then curve it back towards the center there we go you know what I'm going to go ahead and do this um, off camera and uh, I'll get back to you when I get done alright people so I've pretty much done all I can do this episode as you can see I've already kinda come through here and lowered this path as low as I can get it and uh, I'm gonna plan on building like at least something like a gravel path on the way to here maybe make this entrance a little more um, extravagant like uh, something was here you know but I don't know it's really begging for it honestly but uh this is probably gonna have to be like lowered uh, maybe one more just to just give it just, just because or maybe I shouldn't maybe I should have like maybe slabs like right here I like slabs so you should just put them there I don't know I'm gonna have to just think over it for a minute um, but it definitely involve having to push back some of this terrain so this way and this way and just make it look like it was supposed to be like that it's kinda hard to do that on purpose but anyway let's head on down here I have finally sorted this out uh, I've got some smooth stone half slabs to kinda point you in the right direction it's very busy which is usually a good thing we got some fire decorations for lighting and multi-purpose and then we have like the main chamber which will involve you probably dropping right on top of the spawner um, for now it's just a little bit of a climb down here but other than that I think it's doing pretty well oh hi uh, if you're gonna do something like this though I strongly recommend that you start from your destination so I started from down here and then I worked my way up to the entrance so it really uh, it really helped out a lot more when I did it like that but I'm gonna wrap up this episode it looks like might have more plans so keep an eye out on the channel we've got some PvP events that I've recorded and a couple other things and of course and of course more Kingdom of Wars in the future so thank you all for watching if you would enjoyed this episode I want you to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I'll catch you all next time with more Kingdom of Wars alright bye bye